So camera one just decided to stop recording. You piece of garbage. Jesus, I fucking hate you people. All right, so that's screwed up. You're still running. And you screwed up. What the hell is going on here? So it looks like both cameras just decided to turn themselves off. No comment. All right. So what I want to do, I want to put, I want to mount this over here, and again, I'm going to clamp this in place, and I'll put one clamp here and one clamp here. So I put one here. Yeah, put it across this way. See how it's trying to fall already, so it's trying to be delicate. All right, so let's get a little bit of a little bit of clamping pressure on it. Hey there. So what I like to do is just barely get it clamping, push it into place. Let's get the other one. Once we got two in place, then it's going to be nice and secure. Okay, let's uh, mark some circles. I may drill this right in the unit. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one of my very favorite tools, frame loaded center punch. This, these things are great. Helps you make sure that your drill drills on the spot you want it to. Okay, that missed a little bit. Now the neat thing is when you miss, see like it came in at an angle, that straightens it up. And there we go. Now it's nice and straight. Okay, let's try to be a little bit more. So now I'm just pushing. That looks like a good dot. Oh, terrible. Okay, but I was able to straighten it back out. Why am I? Dead center. It's dead center. That one's better. Try to get it dead center. Yeah, not quite. Okay. Dead center now. Come on, be nice. That doesn't look right. There we go. Oh, I see what's happening. The, the the grain of the wood is moving me over a little bit. That's why I dance. Okay, one, two, four, five, six. Okay. Spring loaded center punch. Love it. Great tool. Great tool. All right, so now these are itty bitties. And they have teeth on them that cut themselves in. So you don't need a pilot drill, <coughs> quote unquote. 
probably going to give it a pilot drill anyway. All right, so when you use your, when you choose your pilot drill, down at the bottom of the threads is approximately the size you want your pilot drill to be. And I'm going to choose this little guy here. Okay. You like my level on top of it? Did, that really helped for, um, what was I doing? I, I was drilling some holes that I wanted square. Oh, on the other piece. And it came out good. It helped. Oh, good. This is all clamped down good so it won't move anywhere. So I just want to get this started. That really drilled in all the holes. bitty drill bits I suggest you get them out of there as soon as you stop drilling because you set your drill down it falls over you break the itty bitty drill bit uh, you leave them stacked stuffed in your little case it's uh, typically a much safer environment for it okay take this big old Phillips spit out of there put the funky little Torque spit in. I think I talked about it before. I like to leave the little bag right in the box. Uh, at one point, I was uh, my trigger fell off of this cheap tool, tool, tozzy tool. I don't know what the hell it is. Uh, trigger fell right off. All right, so it's set to go in. Yep, and let's put it in most of the way. I don't want to take it, I don't want anything actually taking up power yet. Just want them all in place and then we'll start actually torquing them down. Yeah, for some reason, this bit sticks in these heads, which is kind of good. It doesn't fall down on you, but it can be a slight challenge to get the bit back up. Okay, I've got to wiggle it, and then i got to put my finger in there, because it'll pull it out and throw it on the ground. Okay, now this is the last one, so I'm going to go ahead and screw it down. Here. Okay. Here. Okay. All right. See what we got. Okay. It's like it, it hits it a little bit. Doesn't seem to really matter. I 
a little noise right there, but it seems that I can still operate it. Yeah, it's like, oh, this one's a little high. A little high. Bring it up. Try again. See if that took it down. No, it's still hitting a little bit. Hmm. Interesting. All right, I'm not going to worry about it because it does go past it. Okay, so here's our here's our stop block ready to work. Let's put our F clamps back. I'm surprised how many people talk poorly about these F clamps in in uh, woodworking videos. I kind of like them. They're new to me. Bought these a couple years ago and. Uh, it's become quite handy. I lost one. There's a pack of six. Well, there's five in my shop now. No idea where the other one went. Okay, so that way, that way. Oops. I put the bits back in the little plastic bag so that I can find it next time. There we go. Now I typically leave this screwdriver. I bought a nice heavy duty Phillips number two magnetic that I really like so I leave it in the screwdriver now. And put you over there. I gotta clean that mess shortly. Okay we are now getting ready to bring the saw back and test this thing out. Okay, so let's get the miter saw. And I have a silly problem with the miter saw that I kind of anticipated, but it still surprised me because I didn't anticipate it welding out like this. I'm picking it up with this knob and this controls the angle and I noticed when I made a cut for that thing, it was cocked over a little bit. So I've gotta, gotta get back to making sure this thing is square. Okay, I got a hole here and a hole here. There's my hole. There's my hole. Okay, so let's get the plastic bag for the miter saw. Oh, I should have kept the, the screwdriver with the little Okay, because I need those screws in a second here. Let's, uh, first let's mount it. Oh, no, I do need, I do need Phillips head first. Okay, so let's just get it started. Yeah, I should, uh, I should take this thing out better. Either have them all Phillips or all Torx. But right now, I've got a mixture of both. there. Get these tightened up. Yark. Come on, baby. Booty man. Okay. This has to come back to work in a minute here. Uh, let's pull this up for doing this. And I, now I gotta go and figure out what's wrong with my square and start that process over. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's get this from on here. So now we're going to know if everything works properly in a minute or two. Uh, it's going to fall. Oh, it stays. Oh, because that thing catches. All right, neat. And again, I need the bit. I'm, I'm considering going to a Phillips head 
these four screws. That way I can, these will be on Phillips head, those will be on Phillips head, easier to take on and off. When the time comes. All right, and now we got this setting to go in. No, that's out. In, there we go. My whole line's up, groovy. Take it most of the way, then all the way, then finish this one off. Okay, and those are both under. That looks pretty neat. Hmm. That is stiff. Well, it's there. Because this, this is the actual fence. This is supposed to be behind the actual fence. Let's make sure that that's what's happening. Yes, it is. At no point does, no point does this touch this. It's clear right here at the, the danger point. Good. Yes. Yeah, flush here and it's an eighth of an inch back cool that's exactly what I wanted all right all right okay now before you go fooling around let's stop and check the square this is a machinist square I have no idea what they cost nowadays, but uh, this is 40 years old or more. Uh, this little guy is wonderful. So what I'm doing here, see how I've pulled it back past the notch a little bit. I don't know if you guys are still recording. Okay, camera two is, how about you? Caramel one is so I don't know what that was all about. Okay, so see the little kind of a notch there. That's kind of important when you're going to check square. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to check. I'm just getting this out of the way for now. Will be from the fence to the saw. So. That metal goes to there. I can't see in there very well. That light's not bright enough. These lights are, oh, how about this little light? This was one of those freebies that you get at Harbor Freight that is now dying, but it might be enough to get light on this subject. want light behind you to see square. I think the rotation is okay. Oh, I can see it here. Yeah, that's pretty good. That, that's okay. That's, if that's not perfect, it's real close to perfect. Okay, so that was not, that looked like the good part of the cut. Now the problem is the up and down. Oh, 
holy sh sugar, that is nowhere near. Oh, holy cavoli. I thought this would have held position. No way. Way off. Way, way, way off. Okay, ah, uh, now like this is, okay. This is the screw I should be adjusting so that when I come over and touch that, it should be perfectly square. And shit, look at that. I doubt it. Really good. Let's get this, I can get a good measurement. Okay. Did it stay? So I have to do this measurement every time I move this this saw up. No. Now it's perfect. Now it's perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do this every time. I move this saw around, I'm going to have to take the time to align it. Alright, let's make sure it stays. Uh, one of the things about tightening things down that you're aligning, check them after you've tightened them also. Oh yeah, I'm good. Wow, it was really off. Okay, it was really off. Gee, what is Batman? Okay, machine is square. Good tool. Not Carpenter Square. Uh, that's for the other side. Yeah, we're getting ready to go into production. Okay, let's get the feed ramp in. So this is the measurement fence. Uh, let's get this thing turned a bit. Two more screws. For the feed wrap. I don't like my cords to be on the ground. Biggest reason is people step on them. Don't let people step on your cords. Yes, you can step on your cords 50 times. But somewhere around 51 to 100 your cord will begin to disintegrate on the inside and by a couple of hundred you could have internal shorting danger big danger do not allow that to happen okay so I'm gonna put my feed ramp here and my in and out is gonna be this way put this over here get myself plenty of room Feed ramp. And here is the feed ramp. Da -da 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 -da. Pretty ugly. Uh, interesting challenge getting all this to fit down in the back of here. I got it. And it's uh, pretty good. It's not perfect in anybody's book. But you know what? It works. Okay, so it's ready to go. Let's get our screws ready. One, two, off of my shoe. Let's uh, put that in there for now. I've still got the bit. Let's get this one on here. Okay, now you may have noticed on this one, I put this one in first because it's trying to fall that way. So on this one, I'll put this one in first because it's trying to fall this way. Get it in the slot. Put the hole to line up. Yep, I like to see that hole before I do this. Okay, it's not quite all the way. 
this one is lined up. spring that has doesn't worry the reason that's there is so stuff doesn't fall down while I'm trying to feed it in it's all crooked but it, it still it helps okay let's put this one back where it belongs and this one back on here I'll leave that on there for now just no let me go put the plastic bag back where it belongs okay there this goes in here back in this little bag, put the bag back in the box, get the box clipped, and plastic bags go with plastic bags. Okay, all right now, okay now, now we're finally getting serious to start doing a little cutting. Let's hope this is all square now, I think it is. Uh, First order of business. Uh, so this again is the beginning of the production run of squirrel picnic tables. This stuff is uh, picket, fence picket. Um, it's bowed this way. All of this picky stuff should come off. I, I should. Now, I should be knocking that stuff off first. Yeah, that's, that's, I'm selling these. The, all right, one of the kits, one of the models, will be rustic. But there can be too much to rustic. So, I think, I think I'm going to use my friend pliers to... Regular pliers elude me. Oh, I know where they are. My wife has them. So I'll just rip some of this really ugly stuff off. The big blade stuff. Now, another interesting little problem that you may have noticed. On the end of that are some chamfers already. Uh, so, I will be matching, I will be attempting to match those chamfers later on. But that brings a very small measurement problem to the table. Which means that, that my beautiful fancy stop lock <coughs> is of no value. Because, and I might have to use the little square. Uh, we'll see how I can now slide this thing off that way and not worry about it falling. It's held. Because I put this down. Uh, oh boy, look at that. It, uh, I didn't like that. Okay, this, this didn't cut off properly. And that tried to push it. Okay, I'll have to spend some time making that better. All right, but you can see that my stop block is of no value because it goes inside there. So for this cut, this stop block means nothing. But that's part of why I got my eight inches. Part of why I've got this square. So that I can get my eight inch mark pretty good. Okay, there we are. Let's get this pushed up against there. And that's pretty good. Okay, is this set to a good height? No. 
Alright, so, uh, uh, so what I did, this, I think they call this a speed square. So I put this edge on here and then I lined up the 8 inches with this. Now we'll, we'll double check how well I've done that. I need my little crescent wrench. Uh, shortly, I plan to make some screws of these two so I can just thumb it. Uh, right now I gotta use a crescent. Okay, so that's all the way down. Okay, so break her loose. And let's get it going down. Going down. test it. Dude, uh, quite a bit more. Okay, one, two, three, four. Let's test it. Aha, that's going to hold it just fine. Lock that in place. Put my little crescent down. Okay, uh, how's my eight inches doing? Oh, stay. Eight inches is eight inches. Screw. See that? So it's it, everything's all crooked and wampus. But this is a squirrel picnic table. It doesn't really matter. Eight. Okay. I believe that this blade should be able to cut six and a quarter inches. I think this blade cuts all the way out to here. And this is like five and three eighths or something. I don't think this is quite six inches. Oh, five and three quarters. Oops, see how that moved? And six comes out to here, so I think I'm gonna be good. Let's give it a shot. Uh, let's put on my eye protection. Eye protection. I'm gonna plug the saw. All right, that's the table saw unplugged. Now we have the miter saw is plugged in. And this is the big plug to here. Nothing came on, nothing should come on now. Good, I've got power here. Power should come on. Okay, I'm gonna make my cut. People seem to make these machines to go like this. So that saw is right in line with my arm. I'm going to do my best to operate this machine away from the center line of that mean ass blade because this is where the action happens when things break. So I'm going to attempt to work from over here. tabletop. Now, I believe that I may, I have enough to make two tables with the wood I have. So this tabletop, I'm also going to cut chamfers on it, but I'm going to do one more that's just straight flat. Okay, so let's, uh, let's play eight inches. 
Okay, that is right on the eight inch mark. And I went to great lengths to attempt to get this to be eight inches. I'm gonna I'm gonna trust that it is and just see what happens because again this is a squirrel picnic table this is not high tolerance it does not matter but let's find out how accurate I am. All right, so if I leave that there, it could get pinched. If I take this up and out of the way, it's loose and it won't get pinched and tend to fly out at me. that in mind a full oops full eighth almost exactly one eighth of an inch under so that is off by an eighth of an inch it is an eighth of an inch under so where that says eight I need to come an eighth of an inch all right I tried to get it perfect but I oh Remember, I had my angle problem. That angle was probably slightly off when I set this in place. I should have checked that angle first before I set this in place. Okay, yeah, well, that's what happens when you learn. Okay, but I've got two, I've got two tops. How close are the tops? Well, they came out pretty close. Yeah, this is tilted a little bit, I think. How square is mine? Oh, I'm very happy. That's square. I'm very happy with that. Yeah, that that's square. So this, this one is probably slightly off. <laughs> this one is, yeah, this one is kind of like that okay no biggie all right so we are done with that big piece goodbye thank you very much i'm going to leave the ramp there because i'm going to be ripping i'm going to be not ripping this is not a ripping machine this is a cross cut machine so i will be chopping uh the legs and the table seats. Okay, so the legs are gonna be cut with 22 and a half degrees. The table seats are going to be eight inches. Now, this was just a hair under an eighth of an inch. I didn't measure this one. So for this one, this is also that exact eighth of an inch under. So I'm going to leave it where it is so that all four of these, there's two seats per table. So all four of these will be the uh, uh, seven and seven eighths eighth of an inch or was that a sixteenth i think it was a sixteenth 
Yeah, it was the 16th. So 7 and 15, 16th. It was the 16th of an air. So I'm saying 8, but that's an 8. Okay, so now I want four of these. Do I need anything funny? No, I just need four of these straight cut, no big deal. So what was happening here? Oh, the top piece got weird on me. Ooh, that's really too far down. All right, let's get this. Let's try here. Yeah, that's plenty. Okay. All right, so again, bring it up to eight. Push it down good. I think we're ready to go. Oh, man. I didn't unplug and turn off. Okay. I got to be more safe. Okay, I need four of these now. So here we go. Ah, remember, I got to flip this up before I cut. Now it won't be trapped. Uh, I felt comfortable putting my fingers here, and I'm just lightly pulling this way so it, it'll come on out as soon as it cuts loose. Assuming these are 45s. Assume. And I've decided that when I use this machine, I'm going to do my best to put the angles here so that the pieces fall out that way. And that, yeah, so that, that's my, my motor's upright. So let's bring this over to 45. Oh, way over here. Ooh. Okay, so I gotta break my rule already. Yeah. That's funny. So you can think ahead all you want, and then reality bites. Alright, so let's see what this entails to be safe. Oh, 
Oh, because I've got this. Hey, yay, yay. Okay. This is getting in the way of the table turning. I didn't anticipate that. That's funny. And that part of the table, that can be chopped off. All right. Now back over here, how can I do this safe? I can hold it there. It's there, so okay. No, all right. So I'm not set up for doing 45 with this because I didn't think about angles when I built this. Okay, the end of that game. Oh shit! Will it be able to do my 20s? There's 22 and a half. This is for the legs. Oh, no. Okay. This is just touching that. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to DIY, folks. So I'm going to have to do something I don't really like. I don't see any option. All right, so let's... I'm going to cut the stock. Bring it all the way over to 45 because that looked like it was going to hit metal. Okay, that would hit the metal. <sighs> the easy fix. Is to move it down. The other easy fix is to hacksaw the end of this blade off, which yes, I would like this to be able to do 45. I don't need it to do 45 right now tonight. I do need it to do the 22s. So let's see what I can get away with. I'm going to bring it down to 35. Oh, I can put it at roughly 40. Okay, 40. No, no it's too close. So I'm going to put it at 37 and a half. That will miss the T-track. And allow me to cut these. No, so all I'm doing is I'm cutting this off so I can do my 22s. I'm not going to... I'm going to do these cuts by hand. With my little hacksaw, or maybe my little... We'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll cut them somehow. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm now cutting the back of my stop off pretty close to this piece of aluminum. Just so I can do my 22 degree cuts for the table legs. Okay, that looks like I'm ready to go. Again, I'm, gonna, I'm cutting this piece. Where's my uh, protection, face protection? Okay. Here we go. Interesting. 
Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, there's. Uh, I've been stalled here, folks. Let's see how bad things look at this 22 and a half. Okay, so it's all solvable. Let's get this back to the 45. And let's get a measurement here, and I gotta do some hacksaw. Hacksaw, baby! Me and my buddy the hacksaw. We can do a lot of shit. Okay, so get all our power off. So I want this oh, and I feel like I should cut this <laughs> don't do that so this is here steel okay well much as I don't really like doing this I think I'm gonna take my hacksaw and I'm gonna cut all of this off right down there that should be right even with just yeah just, just okay oh here's and I can't mark it all right but that's the line on the bottom that it matches okay and I better cut that off all right, you win. <laughs> you usually do. All right, so let's get this over here. Get this over here. Uh, get these pieces over here. Too funny. Get this off. it over here somehow so that I can cut it. No power. Uh, what am I doing? I'm getting my screwdriver and my bit. this guy out of here So I need to cut this off.
here. I don't know. That's the trouble with it being magnetic. It grabbed that piece quick. That's funny. Okay. That ought to be secure enough to hold it for a little hacksaw session. Alright. So I'm hacksawing here. I need it here just for the blade itself, but I need over here for the guard, this be here. Piece here. Okay, let's see if I can do a good job. So I'm going to be well clear of my line, probably an eighth of an inch. I'm going to clear that line a bit. And I think I got the right angle. too much. I don't want to squish this track. So I gotta fix that. Probably quit too. No, oh, you're still recording. Piece of junk. All right, so that one quit. I'm not even worry about it. Okay, so we've got this off. This is dangerous. 
Uh, I need to get that filed off with a real file. Here's the real file. Trouble is, this is a big, a quote, a bastard file, unquote. Not really appropriate for this little job. Biting more than it should. Okay, I'll spend some time with that and make that safe. That's not really safe right now. Not really. Okay, let's hope I didn't screw things up by doing all that. I don't think I did. This little guy. Uh, I'm gonna keep you in there. Probably of no value. My little F's, I hope I didn't screw things up by clamping them too tight. I don't think I did. I'll find out in a minute here. They don't look squished. to stay there. I guess in the way ever so slightly. Now. But I'm guessing you have to come off in order to do my 45s. Okay, so you've got to come off or get readjusted to do my 45s. But I can do my table legs at the 22 and a half now, I believe. This is 22 and a half. Good. Now the table legs, if I remember correctly, were fought. All right, so let's get the table leg in here. This should already be at 22 and a half. So, yes, that is the 22 and a half. Now, I can't trust this five. What I did was I measured five inches from here to the blade, and then it was going to be six inches from here to this tip. And I think that's going to be close enough for hand grenades and horseshoes on this job. So let's give it a shot. Here. 
wide, another quarter inch. That's almost exactly five. Lock that in position. So that's it, the five and a half mark there. Switch to the tooth. And the tooth. To the tooth. Pretty damn close to five. Okay, so let's use this as our stop so all four will be equal. Now, notice I had this locked in place and I pushed this up to it. That's not a good lock. Now what I want to do is loosen it, come up to it from here, because this is how the other four will come in. So it should be at the same place. Let's find out. This looks good. I'm clear here. All right. Uh, get my headgear back on. Oop, everything's unplugged as it should be. Okay. Let's get power. Power, power's here. Good, nothing came on. That's good. So we got four of these. See that guys? I forgot to lock this in place and it's just resting there. I think I've got a good spot. Yeah, okay, but that's bad work. So this one, this one leg might be slightly different length. I hope not. I forgot to lock that. Oh well. Okay, so I got two. I need two more.
these are this width split again and these are the seat braces this would hold this you attach these to the legs and then the seat spit on these these are nine inches and so that little thing works perfectly look at that yay that's why that extra piece is there Okay, these are nine inches. Now they're gonna come just under nine if I do nine here. So I'm gonna do nine and a sixteenth here. There's the, that's nine and a sixteenth. So that should be almost exactly not ooh. That little notch there. Okay, so we won't deal with that little cute notch. And let's, uh, uh, one, two, three, four. I need four of these. Oh my god, do I have four? Oh, but these have to be square, back to square. I wonder if I have nine of those, four of those. Hope so. If not, we'll just make more. That's zero. Let's, let's see if we've got four. One, two, three, we only get three. Great. Well, at least we get three. All right, that's part of what I'm learning. Well, we'll cut the three. We'll live with that. slightly over nine to try and get to nine. Oh man, look, I nailed it. That's right on nine. That's really close. That's beautiful. Okay, so that's not enough to make one. Let's uh, shut all power off. So the power's disconnected there. Okay, let's get the power out of here. Uh, What's left here? I should have explored cutting this in half, but that thing was pissing me off. Oh, this is only six and a quarter. I don't think I can use that. All right, so that'll be tonight. Thank you for watching. Dave Smalley, Geeks Garage, uh, Facebook group Geeks Garage. Let me shut off Facebook first.
Bye, Facebook. See y'all later. And YouTube guys, uh, thank you very much. Do appreciate anybody who's watching. And uh, sorry about the chaos with the recording issues.